way in terms of how the laning stage goes. Silar now on the off lane. And like you said, ROTK on the top. And looks like I do believe um, both the wards were scouted out by Newbie. They definitely scout out this particular one. Immediately D ward here by Sanjian. Yep. I don't think they scouted out the bottom one though. But they don't really care about the jungle being blocked off because Shaolin really not going to pull for himself. And the supports, well, it's going to annoy Banana a little bit, I say. Yeah, it's. It's basically taking away a lot of the stuff, and the, and the Illusion Rune is also not helping. Yeah. Can't, the fact that Rubik was able to get that, so he's had to block up an extra camp here at the 32nd mark. Uh, unfortunately, for, actually, no, the, the, the Illusion actually, will survive until the 1 minute mark. The entire blocked. jungle for Banana is blocked off. It's not just a little bit of noise. Where is he going to get his first creep? He, he has one Centaur. He has one Centaur, which is next to the, uh, next to the Rune area. A lucky spawn. It could have been like a Mud Golem, and he's done. Mm. In the early stage of game, at the very least. Yeah. One thing, though, I'm not really feeling coming out from the VG Gaming lineup is control. And it's control going up against a Weaver. This, this is a guy where if and Howl, a if he gets like a, a, an okay start, you, you're good to go because there's, there's no stuns. There's, there's, what, telekinesis? And you need Orchid? And then there's nothing left. If yeah, he gets I, a Lincoln Sphere, he's good to go. I mean, I agree with you. I think if they really value that Orchid, for example, they would have Silar on the safe lane. That's where he generally farms it. So it's really up to FY to get that Telekinesis lift. He, he's going to need the assistance of a Blink Dagger, for example. We do have to keep in mind that Super, I mean, if he's good with that Slide of Fist and Searing Chain combo, he can initiate from afar. Mm -hmm. um, especially, that Chain is actually really good against Puck. When you're Searing Chain, you cannot face shift. So that will allow Vichy to combo into other uh, you know, follow-up initiates and whatnot. But a lot of work on the shoulder of Super as well as FY. Interesting to see ROTK's build as well. We've got one point up in, no in uh, Poison, in the Venomous Scale, and uh, one point up in the Poison Sting. So with one point in either of these, we're not looking at any massive wall of wards. And what you get is... Not yet. ...is slow up against a hero who has Shikuchi. So it doesn't really have that much of an effect. If it's Sunsheng, it's fantastic, because the base movement speed of 335, well, it's not base because he's got boots on him, uh, but if you can slow him down, then you get a lot of potential for, for an easy kill, an easy first blood. And then extra money, you get a mech up early, and that means tier 1 towers go down the top lane. But you still need to have those high level of wards, which Newbie can't repel, or he comes down to defend when the Chen is ready to push out. I think on paper, the Gale isn't really good against the Kuchi because, you know, obviously he moves at maximum movement speed. But you got to keep in mind that the early levels of Sakuchi, you know, has a fairly long cooldown. It doesn't last nearly as long. So if you could catch out how after he has to use Sakuchi with the Gale on top, chances are he, he is going to die. But how, you know, he, he knows about this. Bottom lane. Play this much. could be the death of Sila right oh. now. Sunshine with the end of the Invis rune starts off with the shackles. Follow up concoction. He's got that spray leveled up as well, but didn't actually get it off in time, but it doesn't matter. Sila, the wall's oh. a bit too high in range. He tries to sprout himself up and then TP out, but it's not possible. A newbie will claim first blood here on the bottom lane. This is not what VG Gaming needed to have happen if they were going to get any kind of early momentum. And they're going to go for top lane too. How? Sentry. Sentry. Sentry Ward, they got him. Gale. Lift him up. Where is his Gale? It will connect, and they got him slowed down. Prophet Sala will TP in. Instant rebuttal kill coming out from BG Gaming. That's why you get the Gale. Sakuchi at the early game, once you disrupt it, he is straight up there. Great rotation here coming out from the VG supports. And let's see if they can actually strike oh, a little super bit. Super middle lane move. He got the Searing Chain. Space shift out. Where's your attack? One, One more hit. Super, Super's gonna, gonna die. Down. Over committal there by Super. He needed one more attack to kill off Moo, but Banana was coming in. He was there for Mana Burn as well, having that little set of Mind Stealer on the sidelines. And that's actually following the Amber all the way up the lane. That rotation from uh, Banana to secure the kill was absolutely huge. Anytime that you get a single kill advantage on the mid lane and get a huge swing in, in experience, that's absolutely huge and winning the lane continuously throughout much of the mid and later stage of the game. But for now, it looks like we're going to have a little bit of trouble up top here as the uh, newbie sustaining a little bit of push. Hilarious thing is, the third level Asta Spray stops the push in his tracks. Yeah. Everyone is backed up. They know the tree army can't stand alive in that one. And the mass, uh, the plague wards are at least nice. You can set them up, but they're not high enough level yet. There's only level two plague wards and easily dealt with by Zhao Wei. So he can hold this top lane pretty much by himself. While on bottom lane, Hal, again, he's searching for another pickoff. Siler is down here. He can afford phase boost, but doesn't have them, so he's got no extra movement speed. He'll need TP support if he's going to survive this. Sunsheng's on the front lines. He doesn't have a point up in Hex, but he's got uh -oh. it in Shackle and Hal. Well, well, he's underneath the tower. Very visible, obviously, doing this. And Siler will just back himself out. Yeah, they need a Shangsheng to be there, and uh, tower is actually doing a lot more damage to Hal than what he actually did to the Prophet, but there you go, back in the mid lane here, looks like we're going to see yet another go, Mu is locked up a little bit, 
but he'll orb back out. This, this is just harassment off the lane. Yeah, despite the death, it, actually Super is able to kind of bully Moo around a little bit, but obviously Moo is enjoying quite a bit of gold lead here. Nice, nice wall being placed down by Mu too. It's looking over the over the river, so we can see what's on the high ground. Especially looking for someone like Fy, because if Fy comes in, is able to get a follow up telekinesis after the initial searing chains, that may just be enough time for Super to finish the job. Yeah, Vici right now is playing a fairly defensive game, but they gotta quite be, be worried because Newbie is up a thousand gold, really without any tower advantage, and that's really coming down to the better farming of the supports, and you know the kills are happening their way, so. I think what both team again, I've said it at the end of the last game, is all about the rotation, all about the early game. The support that does better for the team will win the game. We'll see if the support rotation is going to come through. Should Looks watch. like we're going to smoke on the mid lane. Yeah, they're going to loop themselves around. They've actually got to go all the way around, up through the, basically up through this little region here. But Super's about to hit level 6. Once he does, he could have a fire remnant. They've gone the opposite direction. They're okay. going all the way up to top lane, so they're going to look for Fenrir or for RTK. It could be even a double kill. Both of these heroes are quite squishy. They don't have a good escape mechanism. Here we go. It's going to be a flank on the side. And Fenrir, well, he's going to get hit by a truck. RTK is taking a lot of damage here inside the acid spray. And he knows he can't help out Fenrir here. Maybe he can look for... Like, he can't even denial. Gale will fly out. But, well, Chen's already got the kill. Ancient Apparition starting on TP. Double but RTK, kill. it's a lot of oh. damage. And now RTK, he's alive on 26 life points. And Banana's actually going to be the sacrificial lamb. Super came in. No side of fits. They have chain. actually follow up. And, well, there's your chain. Sunshine will just burn from the immolation of Super. And he wants to go further. Remember this is a DD over on Super, but Moo has now arrived in the fight. Dream Call over on him, holding Super in position. There's nothing he's got left. He'll go down on this top lane. And maybe is a collateral. RTK is backing himself up. Oh, how? Zhao Wei preps the stump, running under the tower. RTK juking in the tree line. They got the vision, so he'll die in the tree line. How? Not enough mana actually to go for a time lapse, but there's no one alive for VG Gaming to punish him. Over aggression here by VG. They had Observer Ward. In fact, both teams have Observer on the mid lane. So you should have seen the rotation from the puck. And that once that coil came down, the Ember Spear was dead. Yep. Earl TK overstayed his welcome, like you said, and died as a result as well. Again, VG is playing that some sort of oh, what a play. Well, I mean, that's actually gonna yeah. have huge, like huge rebuttal right now, because Siler and Sunshing. Sunshing was ready to gank over on Siler. That TP was meant to bring him down to the bottom lane. And ended up getting cancelled, so no kill, Sunshine has to walk himself back out again. Yeah, whenever you're losing kill and you're playing some sort of like pushing or kind of... Uh, just playing a, a strategy that revolving around uh, sieging towers for a long time, level is going to be key. In fact, playing a lot of strategy, level is going to be the key, but... <laughs> you, you can't really give away uh, all these kills. Once mech comes up, for example, for newbie, that's where your push gets much, much harder. As well as uh, Chen's level 6. And... Uh, Step earlier talked about the interaction between Ice Blast and Chen. I feel like Newbie's gonna have a fairly easier time dodging these Ice Blasts, considering the fact that it's mostly Vici that's gonna be sieging. Smoke's broken. Plague Walk right around the corner. That's gonna slow Chen down a little bit, but not enough. So they'll just pick up the Satter instead. So a foul smoke gate coming up from F1 RTK while, well, how? Uh, Shikuchi's rather close to him, middle tower. but they're backing up. There's three heroes in the bottom lane, and Super is also rotating down. He sees a regeneration rune, which Moo's going to go for. There's no slide of fist, so Super owls right on top of him. Dream God's going to be committed. He's got one spirit, so he jumps away and in. Back towards his own tower, while the bottom lane, TP Sports coming in. That's the Alchemist of the front lines. Look for the start. Actually, he started with the shot with the uh, unstable concoction. So he hits on a very hard at sprays there. Pick up a sunshine, dragging him back, and actually oh. turning over to a shall wait with a shackle so Hold on silent. The bugs are on him. He gets one last ultimate off, trying to help out his teammate. RTK, how will dive under the tier one tower to get the kill. And Sunshine safely TPs out. Newbie, a two for zero. This is a very, very, very bad sign for VG Gaming. Normally when ROTK has a successful game on Venomancer, he's on that top lane to like level 8 or 9. You want to have a lot of sp spells max. You want to be high level. And more importantly, you need those core items. You need a mech. You ideally want an Aghanim Scepters, uh, you know, as you're, you're pushing multiple towers. So far he's got nothing. And he really doesn't add much to his team as an underfarm Venomancer. Ice Blast looks like he's going to fly to the bottom lane, but... Won't really hit too much of anything. Yeah, they're trying to keep him out, and if possible, they would have gone for a slider for searing chains. But not going to happen. Mu as well as Sunshine forcing out middle lane, so Mu gets a little bit of a chill. But Sunshine, already level 6, commits the Plague Wall, uh, the Mass Open Walls towards that tier 1 tower. And Super knows he can't come in close on this. Not without help. But they're looking for a trade off, which is going to be stopped by Xiao Wei. Coming towards the top lane with the Acid Spray. The Plague Walls from ROTK. They're going to maybe try and keep this push going. Super, Nam, these, these, these Mass Open Walls are trying to be farmed up by Fenrir, but it's taking too much. Super's bottling up. 
He's still got Slide of Fist available, and now he's going to jump through just a little bit of one of the creeps, so the Centaur goes down, but the mid-tier one tower is four for the Vici Gaming. Newbies are taking what Vichy's good at and sending it right back at them. You know, every tower right now, Newbie is defended and defended well. And Newbie is, uh, you know, pushing for towers. And once that Master Ball comes off cooldown again, it will not surprise me at all. Oh, they're going again on bottom lane. Hal being picked up by FY. Throwing back. He doesn't have level dead. 6, so he can't steal the Shikuchi. And you're right with the box in the back of him. Oh, and not. the Spirit. <laughs> uh, almost a bit of an intimidation factor there. If he wanted this Rubik, he'd have to go through the Ember. You know, I'm looking at the mid game for Vichy Gaming. Should they not? Let, let's suppose that they don't get like five, six towers in the next five, ten minutes, and I don't think they can. Okay. What is their mid game plan? You have a very underform Ember Spirit because you know he's only two and two. He hasn't hit too many creep kills, and then you have Silar. He's played on the off lane, so he won't have an Orchid anytime soon. They really can't gank that well. They can't really play a farming game because I don't think they could defend their towers against the push of newbie. It feels like there is no option B for Vichy if they don't start knocking down some towers. I'm, I will agree with you on that one. It's, it's one of these things where Vichy Gaming, they're running against the clock. They went for a high risk, high reward strategy. And because of that, they need to be able to actually claim things with their lineup. Which is why you see again Siler and ROTK try and force out this top tier 1 tower. Fortification still available here for Newbie. So they could actually stop it. VG Gaming do not have fortification. So how can just force out the tier 1 tower in the bottom lane? And again, Xiao Wei. That sprays on cooldown, but he's still just one man is enough to force back a pushing power from VG Gaming. Yeah, and that one man's level 9, by the way. And if you look at the level disparity, again, it is so huge between the two teams. Newbie right now enjoying a lot of a big lead. I think this tower might actually get denied up top. Tier 1, meanwhile, on the bottom gets destroyed. FY attempted a denial on that one. The Plague Wolves have to be timed Shall by Mara TK. Gotta be careful of the backstab, though. Here comes a couple of TP towers. Gonna get lasted. A great play here from Silar. Oh, but he's gonna pay for it with this Dream life. Oil. Silence or That's one kill. But here comes the backstab support. Super. He's looking for the chain. Ice Blast already prepped oh, up. Nice what a chain. combo. Shao is dead. Yep. The Cornish, are they gonna make it out alive there? He never even got the sun off. Mu has to use his Dream Call to hold better in position. But now, a oh, wonderful fade shift. Evades the damage of Super. And Hal returns to the fight. Puts the bugs on Fenrir, which means he's going to pick up the support hero while Super, another Searing Chain, he'll TP himself out. There's no stuns available. So he's away to safety, Super, with Fra with Phase Wiz picked up. But VG Gaming, they keep having bad trades. Tier 2 Town was lost in the bottom lane because, again, Shadow Shaman and these massive open wards from Sunshine bring down the Tier 2 Tower. GG Gaming are losing out on every single decision they're making across the map right now. Yeah, and that decision is going to really snowball. Look over how he's got Hand of Midas flying out on the Courier Tomb. Normally, as a Weaver, you should be afraid of the single target initiation like a Telekinesis or maybe a eventual Orc coming out from Silar. He is confident that he could get to that Lincolns uh, and, and could make a pick stop with the Midas. That Midas is going to really shoot him to level 16 very quickly. Add to his low intake. Be very, very careful with what you're doing right now. He actually phase shifts out and blinks himself back towards his tier 1 And tower. has a regen rune. <laughs> has a regen rune. Maybe he's playing confident. It would not surprise me if they take a 2-1 lead after this particular game, because everything is completely under their control. It doesn't seem like Newbie has the initiation power or the late game power to really tackle Newbie. So what is the game plan, Mr. RTK? It's a question which I don't think he'll answer. Not until after the game, at least. But they've got, they're going to answer actually during the game. Sunshine's almost going to do blink dagger. You talk about initiation. The Shadow Shaman's going to cause so many problems for VG Gaming. How is is staring down ROTK now. FY is also here. But just a quick time lapse out by Hal. He's just trying to cause some chip damage onto ROTK. Force him back. ROTK still has managed to finish up this full mech. Okay, this, this is how they're going to do it. This network is pathetic right now. VG in Gaming, comparison to others. VG Gaming is about thinking about stealing Roche. Fimra just Roche picked Shun? up, yeah, they, they just picked up a Medallion of Courage. This is not an item you they normally buy. They're coming for kills, man. They found Super Sunshake. Searing chained up. Mu will blink up, but it's not going to happen. And the Ice Blast. Actually going to connect on Mu as well as Banana while Sunshake being picked up, thrown back. He is chilled up. The Shackles is nice, but Ember Spirit coming in hard. And that's going to be Super picking himself up a double kill. But Xiao Wei also not going to get in the same as Mu, the Puck, who got oh. the kill. But Sila gets a double sprout with the Searing Chain trying to control him there. There's a jump away by Mu. He'll actually orb himself and join himself in. Sila needs to hit up the hill right now, ball charges, he misses up the hill, into the trees, and he's actually away, blinks over! And as she gets the kill, Moo with a triple kill, looking for an ultra, Super, need to get out of there. the spirit, there's your attack, Super, not enough damage, 19 life points, one charge of CP out, where one is more. it, blink the attack oh. from Jen, just had a blast through the tree line.
another unsuccessful team fight where Newbie came out so ahead, and I think the key items are starting to get out of control. Once Xiao Eight finishes that mech, how how do you win another team fight against Newbie? And that was the fight that How even joined. He's one of those carries again joins all the fights. He just farmed away. It essentially was like a three v four, and yeah. Newbie still came out ahead. Man, that was that was brilliant. The fact that Newbie was, Newbie was able to survive that long, and the puck. Like picking up that many kills, it's allowed Mu to afford up a full Yule Scepter 15 minutes into the game on top of his Blink Treads as well as Bottle. Great way to get out of trouble, man. Yep. And the Mono Region is actually a big part in terms of uh, extending your farm in the mid game. It looks like we're going to see Vici trying to steal that Roshan. Yeah, this is but huge. look at the Centaur coming in from Chen. Oh, it's going to no. reveal the entire thing right now so they realize what's going on. They could only take it as a surprise because Newbie's got the superior yeah, initiative. Don't come out that far! He's coming down for the haste room. Oh, he's got it. He'll he's be fine. able to swipe it out at least. But he was very, very close to Xiao Wei. He could have prepped a concoction if he wanted to. Yeah, meanwhile, as uh, you know, Newbie's delaying this Roshan top lane, it's going to be Weaver taking a tier one. It looks like he's going to start pressuring mid and joining that Roshan fight should he needs to be there. Very smart there from FY. A tornado was started up by the Wild Wing. So he just came in and telekinesed it out. Now, VG Gaming have started this, they've got to finish this. I feel like as they get it low, that's where Puck's going to join in. Jao Wade's going to come in too. As the spray can just cover over the entire VG Gaming line, but look where he puts it. It's in the river and not on top of Roshan. He doesn't want to help VG Gaming finish Roshan. All he wants to do is make sure if they find outside... Oh, RTK! They used the smoke, but he was, he was in vision. He came down the river. And he was in vision of, of, uh, of Newbie, and now FY, oh. Sentry Ward, he's too far away from Hal. And in comes Concoction, maybe Xiao Wei throws it over, he's looking at Fenrir, taking away this Ice Blast. Now he's slide of fist, couldn't get the proper Searing Chain over to Xiao Wei, so there's no extra control. Meanwhile, RTK is still smoked up, he's looking for a backstab. Meanwhile, these streams are constantly scouting Roche. I can't tell who's actually going to get this Roche. Again, Link Dagger initiation coming out, RTK is going to get caught! Nah, he's getting blocked up by his own trees, which are coming out from his teammate. And they're just completely scouting out all of what Newbie is doing too. This Roshan is almost something which VG Gaming, oh wow, they commit mass serve and wards. It actually takes a choke point, and what a blink in by Moon! A double silence orb as well! The AO is gonna cause a lot of troubles for Hal, but he's able to time lift out the damage! He's okay! Double buyback coming from VG Gaming, nice mass serve and wards, steal coming out from the Rubik, but Newbie trying to find oh, no. the Roshan, killed by the Radiant, picked up by the Weaver. This is a disaster for VG Gaming right now. GG! And GG, they know it! Roshan was the last roll of the dice of VG Gaming. Gaming and newbie will take a one game